It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coffin fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on 111-111. That number again, 111-111. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls! <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Hello? Harper, it's Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. See you soon. Always the same. Whenever I had an idea as a kid, I would grab a light bulb and hold it over my head like a cartoon. Looking back, I was a pretty annoying child. Guess my stepdad was right. There it is. Good old multi-tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Hey there. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? I'll see what I can do. It's nearly out of juice and it isn't charging. I don't get it. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. Ah, my multi-tool. The laptop isn't charging for some reason. Normally, I'd just open her up and take a look inside, but I don't want to screw up the professor's work. <sighs> it's a nice evening in Yelltown. I don't think it's scissor time. Let's take a look here. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. 
Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. The cable is frayed in the middle. Probably eroded. I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, let's make this safe. Ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? This one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing, anytime. Professor? Yes? Are we safe here in Yelltown? I know it seems scary. Emergency measures, the treatment camp. But there's no reason to panic. So far, there are very few confirmed cases. Okay, I won't panic. Yet. 